Setting up multi-factor authentication at MCC for students. Setting up multi-factor authentication is quick and easy. To get started, navigate to login.notcom.edu and sign in. Once signed in, navigate to your profile icon in the upper right corner. Choose View Account. From your account area, choose Security Info in the middle of the page. Now we will walk you through the multiple options for authentication. We recommend the Microsoft Authenticator app as the primary and phone text as the secondary. The Authenticator app is simple to use and can be used without an internet or data connection. We will set this up first. Click on Add Method. Now in the middle of the screen, you will have the option to choose your method. We will set up the Authenticator app first. From your mobile device, navigate to your app store and add Microsoft Authenticator app. The instructions on your screen are easy to follow. We will do that now. First, agree to the terms of the app. On your mobile device, choose the option to scan a QR code, and on your computer, click Next. Your computer screen will display a QR code. Your mobile device camera will open. If you need to, allow it. Now you will scan the QR code using your mobile device. Hold your camera over the code and it will scan automatically. You will know you're successful if an approval notification comes through to your mobile device. If so, approve it and you are successful. Now let's set up a secondary method. It's important to have multiple methods in place for password resets or if you get a new cell phone. To do this, click on Add Method on your computer screen and you'll see a drop-down list with multiple options. This time we'll choose Phone. With Phone, we can decide between receiving a text or a phone call. We will choose a text message. Keep in mind with this method, you will need phone service. This is why we prefer the Authenticator app as the primary option. Once you enter your number, you will receive a code on your mobile device. Enter the code in the box on your computer. Once you enter the code correctly, your second authentication option will be in place. Now that we have multiple methods, we must decide on our default or preferred method. This is important. Locate the set default sign-in method link in the top of the computer page. From the drop-down menu, you will have multiple choices. We recommend the Authenticator Notification option. When signing in, this will send a push notification to your device for you to approve and allow the login. Notice the example on the mobile device on the screen. If you often find yourself without cell service, the token option might be best. With this method, you will access the Authenticator app and enter it a rotating token as you see on the mobile device on the screen. Once you decide on your preferred method, confirm your choice and you are good to go. Now when you sign into your MCC account, you will have an added layer of security and the ability to reset your own password if needed. If you ever need to make changes or adjust your method, re-follow these steps. If you have any questions or need assistance, contact the MCC Service Desk, servicedesk at montcalm.edu. Have a great day.